Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Please hit the subscribe button and please hit the notification button so you get notified my videos. And today I'll be doing a sculpture of SpongeBob and Patrick in a nice burger. Okay, so this was the idea. I was going to make a glass, put SpongeBob and Patrick in a glass bottle in like the burger cart in the episode. But um the bottle would not the bottle was very hard and difficult because it was gonna be a it was the little bottles because I wanted to be in a little bottle, not a big bottle, because I feel like it'll be easier. But it turns out to be really freaking hard to open that bottle up. So I just decided and also the first time I did got managed to open the bottle, but I broke it. So I was like, oh heck no. And my dad's birthday was coming up soon, so I didn't want to focus so much on that, on opening the bottle when I couldn't just make a sculpture for him, so I decided just to make a sculpture for him instead. And, uh, yeah, so maybe next time in the nearest future, I could make a sculpture that's inside, trapped inside of a bottle. But until then, I'm just going to focus on this project. And I'm thinking of making a part two for this because it's going to be too long of a video of me painting Spongebob and Patch, especially Spongebob because Spongebob has a lot, of, a lot of colors and a lot of designs and details with him. So I'm going to do part two for the next episode. It'll just ne next episode. <laughs> I don't know for the um for next video and I think that'll be posted on Sunday because you know and that and on Sunday is my dad's birthday so um yeah <laughs> but uh anyway now I'm just painting the um the the shape lettuce in the green and I wanted to use foil because I feel like it'll be easier to use foil than paper I should just use paper but like I wanted to use foil because it'll be easier to bend it the way how I want it to be bended so I thought it'd be easier to use foil instead of paper so that's why I chose foil instead of paper and yeah but um <laughs> I really wish that project that I had in my mind, that the idea that I had in my sketchbook would have could have wished that it could have worked, but uh, yeah, but it's fine. But anyways, I'm gonna fix the mistakes I did with the with the button and cover and fix the um, messes that I made, and yeah, and I'm just covering it up with the paint, making sure that I got rid of all the um spots, and yeah, and yeah, you must <laughs> excuse me, and you must be wondering. Um, why did I didn't um paint the patty on camera? Is because uh I guess because I was trying to figure out a nice co a nice color for it. Cause I was trying to figure out because the the burger and SpongeBob is a reddish meat, but I couldn't really capture that. But it's fine because really I like I don't know if if my burger is reddish meat, I'll be concerned. So I would rather choose. I would like to have a burger that's like a brownish red a little bit because that'll look good to me. But uh, yeah. <laughs> Not saying that the burgers don't taste, taste don't taste good. I don't know. I never try. I gotta give it a try. But uh, now I'm painting the buns on the bottom, and now I'm gonna paint the buns on here. And I, and I made the, I did the seeds on camera. I mean, and I did the seeds. I wish I could have showed y'all me sculpting it. But when when I do sculpting, I just do it off camera because it's ten times easier, and um, I can actually focus on the little details and stuff like that, and focus on sculpting it. And this whole burger, the burger, the bun, the burger, and the patty, I had I actually sculpted it with foil, and then I put clay over the um the foil, and yeah, that's how I got that shape. Because I feel like it'll be ten times easier to do that because it'll take a long time for it to dry. So I decided to just go ahead and use foil and then cover the foil up with clay because it'll be ten times more easier than um just using the whole just using clay and then it takes a long time to dry. So I decided to just do that. Now I'm gonna paint the seeds, the sesame seeds, the color that I chose. I mean, you, sometimes you see the sesame seeds on burgers and it's it's nice, but you know. But I mean, I like burgers. What sets me see what that sets me? I'm not picky, you know. What I mean, I'm a, I'm a foodie, so I don't really care what's on. The only thing I don't like on a burger is um, mayonnaise and lettuce and tomatoes. I do not like tomatoes. I can't eat tomatoes. I'll take if there's tomato tomato my burger. I'll take that out and give it to my siblings to eat because they love tomatoes. Or I throw it out if they don't want it. I just throw it out because I do not like tomatoes at all. And, uh, but if it's lettuce on there, I'll, I'll eat the lettuce. It's fine. It's not as bad as a tomato. And I'll wipe away the mayonnaise because I just do not know. Nah. <laughs> so, yeah. But, um, what burgers do you like? Do you like cheeseburgers like me? Because I love cheeseburger. I'm just a cheeseburger fan. So, if you like cheeseburger, if you like something else, um, comment down below or, you know, wherever. I don't know. But, um, yeah. So, now I'm just applying, um, nail glue. So, if you want to know what that is, that's actually for nails, but it works good for, like, 
paper stuff too so I applied that on so I used it to also for like um art supplies as well because I don't really have crazy glue I don't have crazy glue at the moment so I had to just improvise and use what I got that's like glue so I decided to use the nail glue as it to improvise for crazy glue because I don't got that no more because I use it all up for like the the other doll I think not not the other doll What's all that? No, 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 it wasn't for the other. Uh, it what project was it? I used it up for a project that I would need. It was I don't know, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. But uh yeah. So I don't have any more crazy glue, but uh, hopefully I can go to the store and get some more. And but it's okay for right now it's fine because I got the nail glue, so it's okay. I got like you know, I got two of the two of the nail glue things, so it'll be fine. Uh you know what's crazy is that the nail glue I got no mind. <laughs> off topic. Off topic. But I'm applying the last leaf lettuce onto the burger, and yeah, and, and then I'm apply that pith on there. I'm not gonna really glue on there yet, cause I just want to see how it looks. And I was trying to see which side looks the best, which which angle does it look best. What you know what I mean? So that's why I put it on there. But uh, and I'm just trying to flatten down the leaves and the you know. And now I'm gonna paint the stand. If <laughs> I know, you, I know you wonder why I use foil again for like the stand. I used the floor for a stand because the thingy is made out of like cardboard and I wanted to not show the cardboard so I decided to use foil instead. I could have used clay but I didn't really want to so I decided just to use foil instead to cover the stand and hopefully it doesn't backfire and if it does I'm gonna you know I'm gonna fix it up. I'm gonna, you know I mean what I should really done was I should have cut a hole around the spot where the burger is so it can sit there and then it'd be okay you know just in case if the foil rips off and it's not actually attached or I don't know, and I paint. Then I painted around the the um thing with the sand color. Cause I was thinking like, what should I paint the floor, the sculpt, the the stand? So I thought of. I was thinking something. I was thinking of red, the board in like the you know like in the crusty crab floor and it's green. But then I thought about the beach and the sand, and I feel like it'll look nice with like the burger on it. Then like the like the green thing i mean maybe it would look nice with the green but i don't know i really thought that the sand looked i mean i, I thought the sand would be nice for like the the floor where they're standing on so i decided to just do sand and now i'm gonna apply and i'm using the crazy glue not crazy glue <laughs> now using the glue gun to apply the bun onto the burger and in that yeah and i just make sure it's on there and i didn't use the nail glue because it wouldn't work it, it's like it's clay and, it, and that stuff, I think that the nail glue works for like paper stuff and not really like clay stuff because I, I tried before with other projects and it didn't work as well. And then I applied the cra the crazy glue. Keep on saying crazy. And then I applied the glue, the glue gun, not glue. Then I, then I applied the glue onto the stand and I put the burger on top of it. And then, yeah, and I made sure it was secure. I mean, I had to make sure it's secure because it's not really secured yet, but I'm going to add some more cool on it. And then I started to work on SpongeBob and Patrick. I already worked on Patrick. I mean, nah, I'm working on Patrick's, like, shorts at the moment. SpongeBob, he wasn't as finished, but right now, um, I'm just going to be working on cutting the 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 shorts. And I'm going to, yeah, and I'm going to see if it fits, like, Patrick to see if it works out for him. And I'm just trimming away the excess. I'm going to cut the sides and, like, the... You know, that's what I'm gonna do right now. <laughs> Making sure that it's gonna fit Patrick and like if it doesn't fit about can just like, you know, refix it, like fix it up a little bit here and there because it is clay and it's easy to like to fix up stuff, you know what I mean? So then I take and I measure it around his waist to see if it actually fits. And it's too kinda too long, so I have to actually cut it in half, like into yeah, I cut it in half. So then I take the scissors and then I cut oh wait, actually no, oh wait. <laughs> Sorry, I had to see it again to see if it actually looks nice. I was checking to see if it looks nice in this and like in the clip. So uh, yeah. But wait, I think I actually cut it, but uh, I didn't show it off the camera. So now I'm just trying to fit it on Patrick to see how it looks. And I'm trying to smooth it out with my finger to see for it to... I'm just trying to smooth it out with my finger. And uh, yeah, I'm just, yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. And then I'm going to take the other piece that I had that's sitting on the table. Actually, no, I'm trying to see... I'm trying to... To make it fit, but then, yeah, never mind. And then I take the other piece that I had that was sitting on the table, my working table, and I put the other piece on there, and I smooth it out, and then I'm going to take the, um, some water, put water in my hand, and I smooth it out with my finger to make it look like it was one piece, and it was actually, was this, like, yeah, like it was, like, one piece, I did that, I smoothed it out with my finger, and then, yeah. And then I cut out some short pants legs for Patrick so that it can go around his tiny cute little nubbies. And yeah, that's what I'm doing. I just like putting, putting the clay around his um 
tiny little feet, not tiny little feet, because his legs, right? I don't know, I'm calling them nubbies, I'm gonna call them cute little nubbies. And then I smoothed them with my finger, and then I did the other side. And I made small, like, pants legs for him, like, small pants legs, pants legs for him to wrap around his nubbies. And, um, yeah, and then I smoothed out my finger, and I get a little bit of water, and I smoothed it out with my fingers, make sure it's okay. And then I move on to Spongebob, and I'm working on his shoulders. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, because this is the end of the clip, and I thank you so much for watching, and have an amazing day. Bye!